when we think about these two disorders, ADHD and bipolar disorder, the first thing we have to understand is that the actual criteria that are used to diagnose a disorder are very different. ADHD is a disorder about inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity. It has nothing to do with a disturbed mood. That's not part of the way uh, psychiatrists, psychologists, and other mental health professionals are supposed to diagnose the disorder. On the other hand, bipolar disorder is primarily a disorder of, uh, of mood. As I said before, lows of depression or highs of elation or uh, serious uh, irritabil irritability. The difficulty comes in, in, into play because a lot of ADHD youth show a lot of emotionality. These children have temper tantrums, they can get angry very, very easily, they can be irritable with their parents. And that type of emotionality can sometimes be difficult to uh, distinguish from the mood disturbance and mania that a psychiatry calls irritability. Uh, now the irritability of mania is actually not the same kind of irritability that you think of when you think about irritability in an everyday sense. Irritability that you might feel irritable because you're a little cranky or your husband's cranky or your friend is cranky. Uh, the irritability of mania is actually a very serious type of irritability. We're talking about people having rages of aggression, people throwing things, people uh, being violent. Uh, this is a very strong, serious uh, set of emotions that um, causes a good deal of havoc in the, in the house. That's the irritability or the emotionality, if you will, of the, uh, what we, call, we would call an irritable manic episode. Uh, there's another disorder which we should mention because it's related to, it occurs in ADHD a lot, and that's called opposition defiant disorder. And that disorder is in part diagnosed by uh, the child having some of these emotional symptoms, uh, being angry, for example, uh, at, at people would be an example. It's important to know about the emotionality of oppositional defiant disorder, that it, it, it's always in regard to, it always takes place in interactions with other people. So if a child picks up the remote control and throws it at the TV and breaks it, and there's no one else around and has nothing to do with their siblings or their parents, that's not oppositional defiant disorder. That's another kind of emotionality that we need to understand. Uh, the child that starts to get very angry and irritable with their parent because they don't want to go to bed at a certain time, that's the, the emotionality of oppositional defiant disorder. Uh, a child, for example, who is in their bedroom and just starts punching the wall and punching a hole in the wall, um, that's more like the, the serious, furious irritability of mania than it is the emotionality of oppositional defiant disorder.